is that skills can be learned, but passion cannot. So you being passionate about a particular thing, that's something that cannot be taken away. It's not something that can be taught. I love writing, I love technology, I love connecting people. No one can teach me how to do that. That's not a skill set, that's a passion. That's something that's uniquely yours. And that is what will drive you forward. Not how many skills you have, not how many degrees you have. Remember, I have two, so I'm speaking from experience. That won't move you forward. So there are actually three things that if you do want to pursue your passion, you should be concerned about. Three things that you can do right now. I like lists. Feel free to write them down. Feel free to tweet them, whatever you want to do. Right? So the very first one is develop your core. And what I mean by that is what's your main intention? Why do you want to do what you want to do? To you who spoke up over there, or are you over here? When you spoke up, why do, you don't have to answer, but why do you want to do what you want to do? I'm pretty sure I don't want to do what you want to do. Same thing for you. Like, I have my own passions. So why do you want to do that? Now, I'm actually a father, and I think about talking to a kid. If you have nieces and nephews, you might have kids yourself. You ask them, what do you want to be when you grow up? And they'll usually say something very broad and generic. No offenses to the, to the, to the titles I'm about to give, but like firefighter, doctor, lawyer, whatever. And then you ask them why. Now you can do this to yourself. It's actually a method called the why method. It's from a, a business leader named Simon Sinek. And it's not how, but why. So why do you want to be a firefighter? Well, I really like looking at fire, which is OK. You just need to monitor the kid. But it's like, I really like looking at fire. It's like, OK. Or it could be, I really want to help people. And it's like, OK. Those are two different scenarios. So you ask someone, you know, what do you want to be? I want to be a firefighter. Why? Because I like looking at fire. Well, then they could be a, a chemist, right? Because chemists mess around with fire. They could be a chef, because the chef's always at the burner. You know, if they say, I really want to help people, then they could be a doctor. They could be a lawyer. They could be something else. If you keep asking why, then you'll get deeper and deeper. And what you'll realize is that it has less to do with execution and more what you feel based on that execution. <clears throat> so me, I like connecting with people because of the way that it feels, sharing knowledge. And I could do that as I have in the past as a journalist, as a public speaker, as a co-founder of an app. But it doesn't really matter how I do it. It matters the feeling that I get when I do that particular thing. And that gives you that pause, that security. My core, which I mentioned in the beginning, was to use technology and show how technology connects people. If you think about an app that connects people for hugs, what does that do? It connects people via technology in an intimate way. That's what I was doing with my journalism. So my 20 years as a journalist prepared me to have a successful run as an entrepreneur and as a co-founder. So that final 20%, 25%, if I waited on that, then I wouldn't be speaking, speaking with you guys right now. I never would have gotten into entrepreneurship. You know? And so it's really about finding out what your main intention is. I call it your core. Why are you doing or why do you want to do what you do? It's not enough to say you want to be a firefighter. Why do you want to be a it's not enough to say you want to make a million dollars. What do you want to do with your million dollars? That's where the intention should be. And if you put your focus on that, then that makes it a lot smarter and a lot easier for you to move forward. And whatever paralysis you might be having with wanting things to be perfect, you will accept that you only have part of the equation. The rest of the equation will not be there until you actually take your leap.